Hi, this is Donna from DIY with Donna. And today I want to talk about how to publish your book for free. I've self-published three books. My first book is An Old Soul, which I published on lulu.com. My second book is Peg Academy, where I use createspace.com. And my third and most recent book is Sociology 114, which I also did on createspace.com. As far as comparison between the two companies, lulu.com and createspace.com, both companies offer a quality product. Um, Lulu does give you the option of getting a hardback copy, whereas CreateSpace doesn't. Um, but Lulu um, royalties are a little bit less than CreateSpace. Um, for me, I use CreateSpace because I don't need a hardback copy. Um, the price um, of a print book is cheaper at CreateSpace and the royalties are a little bit more with CreateSpace. So for my purposes, um, I would use uh, CreateSpace. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you'll do after you've written your book and modified it is log on to your self-publishing website, which in this case is going to be CreateSpace. They'll ask you for a title. Um, it's usually limited by a number of about 250 characters. They'll also allow you, if you have a subtitle, um, to put that in. Next, they'll look at a uh, description. You are going to be allotted a long description, which is about 4,000 characters and a short description, which is about 400 characters. The important point here is you want to ensure your short description can let the reader know what your book is about in that amount of characters. ISBN number. This stands for International Standard Book Number, and it helps to identify your book. Um, if you have an ebook that has an ISBN number, which will be different from the print ISBN number. So for every type of format, you will have a different ISBN number. Um, the good thing about it, the ISBN numbers on the self-publishing websites are free. Interior is the book itself. Um, I write my books in MS Word and just upload those documents. Uh, one other thing I do with Interior on another uh, application, self-publishing ebook application, Smashword, is I convert my Word document into the EPUB format in order to upload. Uh, that file and I use a website called online-convert.com which takes um, your Word document and it will format it into any of the ebook forms like EPUB, Mobi, um, all the, the forms that uh, the tablets use. Cover. The self-publishing companies allow you to choose whether you want it matted cover or a glossy cover. They also provide several templates that you can use where you can put your title on the book and you as the author on a book and also upload a image that you might want to have on the front of your book. Um, on the back oftentimes you'll have a picture of yourself as the author and maybe a description of what your book is about. And towards the bottom of the back, um, there is an area for your ISBN number and um, the price that you have on the book. And then the binding will have your title um, plus the author's name. The important part um, of the cover is to ensure that you abide by the pixel um, number and the DPI that they're asking you for, the dots per inch, um, in order to get the best result um, of the image, images on your cover. Pricing. The great thing about self-publishing 
is you get to set the price for your book. On the sites, they usually have a royalty calculator and they will tell you how much of a royalty you will get when you put in the price of your book and how many pages your book will be. They will show you the calculations of how much you will receive. In general, there's a threshold of $3. So if your book is $3 or less, uh, your royalties are around 30 to 35%. If your book is more than $3, the royalties generally are between 70 and 80%. So the great thing about self-publishing is all the items we covered, such as title, description, ISBN, interior, cover, pricing, tags, and categories are all free. You can even proofread your book online for free. I do recommend that you purchase a print book so you can see what your customer would be getting if they decide to buy the print book. Check to make sure that your cover is glossy if that's what you order, the name of your book is correct, your name is correct as the author. Check the back to make sure the information um, about the book um, is correct, your image looks fine and you have a spot for your ISBN number. You wanna also check inside the document, um, your book to make sure that the margins are correct, that it's been numbered correctly, that your chapter format is also correct. So it's just a good idea to get a print book. So you may wanna get print books for your family, um, those who are helping you edit the book. This gives them the ability to write in the book and put in their edits so you can have the best uh, book possible um, with their information. You can update, update your book um, with the information you've received back from them. It is very inexpensive um, to get a proof copy of your book for a 220 page um, book. I paid $3.50 with CreateSpace plus the shipping, and it is definitely worth the value. So those items that we did discuss are what you primarily need in order to self-publish. Hopefully this video has been helpful on how to self-publish your book for free. Uh, please leave your comments below. Tell me your experiences in self-publishing, and please subscribe. Again, this is DIY with Donna. Thank you.